Let's do this. Okay. Josh, don't tell my wife I put the bag on top of this expensive table. Hi, I'm Virgil Bunau. It sounds like Boo Now, not later. Welcome to my first vlog. Today, I'm going to talk about what's in my bag. What do I pack? What do I bring with me? And hopefully you can get something out of it. So the first thing that I want to show you, I shoot with this Contact 645. It's a Contact 645 camera. I bought it used. They don't make this camera anymore. Um, when I use this camera, I usually, I bought an extra battery grip, which attached to the camera like this. I like it because my hands are big and I can hold the camera better and I have a better grip. At the same time, uh, even though it's an autofocus camera, I can manually focus the camera with my fingers. Uh, it uses four AA batteries right over here. I like it better. It shoots medium format, 120. I usually shoot color with this camera. I try to keep my color camera separate from my black and white camera so I don't get confused. So what else is in my bag? I have Kodak Portrait 800, which I, uh, Portrait 800, the last four or five months it has been my favorite film stock. My black and white of choice is the Kodak 400TX. I love this black and white film. It's a true black and white film. You can push it three stops all the way up to 1600, 3200. It is beautiful pushed. Um, it is also beautiful process and scan normal. So it's, it's awesome. Couple items that are also in my bag are extra batteries for the D750. Food, snacks, you never know when you're gonna eat. Gaffer tape, I have the half inch one. Speaking of black and white cameras, I love my Roliflex. This is a Roliflex 2.8F. Uh, this is made in the 50s. It's been uh, repaired, refurbished. Uh, it is a film, medium format film camera. I typically shoot Kodak 400TX with this camera. It shoots square, it's a six by six medium format film camera. I love the look of this, the result, the outcome of, from this camera, black and white, it's beautiful. Um, it goes up from, uh, I think a 2.8, it's a 2.8 camera all the way up to F22. And then the shutter speed, I never go past 15th, but it goes up all the way to 1 500th of a second. But yeah, I love this camera, man, it's, this, it's wonderful. The strap, is made by Tap and Die. Again, the link is below if you need to, uh, uh, if you want to check it out. He uh, makes these dies in, in th these. T um, did I say t die? I didn't say ties. Ties. This tie. What, I, what am I supposed to say? Straps. Straps. <laughs> Third camera I bring with me at weddings is the Fujifilm XT2. I just got this camera. I'm probably gonna do a review, but I love this camera. It is, it is a very light camera. It's a beautiful camera. Um, it's digital. It's got the 23 F2 lens. I bought the silver graphite version. It is a little bit more expensive than the black. It's a mirrorless camera. So basically, um, this is probably gonna go on my review, but I'm just gonna tell you something a little bit about it. When you shoot with it, the camera, when you shoot with it, the exposure, you are already seeing the exposure. So if you wanna see the actual photo before you actually take the photo, you're already seeing it in the viewfinder. So it's a really, really cool camera. It's got dials up here. Just really reminds me of, of the old school cameras, but it's really digital. Fourth camera I bring with me is my favorite, favorite, favorite camera this, these days. It's my X-Pro2. It's a Fujifilm X-Pro2. It is beautiful. Right here I have the 35 1.4 lens. 
it is equivalent to a 50 lens because the camera is a crop sensor. The X-T2 is a crop sensor as well, so that 23 is really like a 35 lens. So this 35 lens is really a 50 lens if we buy the focal length. Um, I bought the Thumb Grip Extra. Um, I love this Thumb Grip because when I am shooting, it just, it just allows me to hold the camera well. I have, again, I, got, I have big hands. I just need an extra just umph to my grip, you know, for me to just feel comfortable. It just feels so natural and comfortable. So I love this camera, it's a digital camera. Um, it's, it's one of the, the cameras that I recommend to everyone all the time. The fifth camera I bring to me, with me, at weddings or shoots is my Nikon D750. I know the, D, the D850 is out right now and it's, apparently it's amazing and I'm sure it is. I bought my camera for like, I don't know, $1,800 for the body. So I have the 51.4, the link is below if you need to check it out, it's about five, 600 bucks. It's awesome, it's worth it. They should, they should charge more for this lens. This lens is so beautiful, it, produ it produces the most beautiful, beautiful pictures. Another lens that I bring with me, it's kind of heavy. I hate bringing it, but it's so beautiful and it's so useful, especially with like long aisle ceremony, churches and stuff like that. This is my 7200 Nikon 2.8 version two. It is beautiful. It's, um, it's a long lens, it's super heavy. You don't want to carry this for eight hours. It'll hurt your back for sure. Another lens that I bring with me, this is probably my third or second favorite lens. This is my 35 Nikon lens. It's 1.4. I call this my skinny lens, especially <laughs> I use this when I'm photographing people like vertical. It just kind of elongates them a little bit. It kind of makes them a little skinnier, slimmer. This is my go-to lens at reception. This is my go-to lens for portraits. What else do I have here? This is my Nikon Speedlight 910. They don't make this anymore. Um, I think they have a new version that I'm sure I'm going to upgrade later on. It's the Nikon 5000 or something. The Pocket Wizard Mini TT1, and this is the Pocket Wizard Flex TT5. Uh, what this does, basically, I will mount this on the bottom of my flash, and then I will turn it on. I can just attach it like that, and then you should work, and I don't know why you're working. And then let's see if we can Take a picture. See that? So that's just my off-camera light setup. It is very fast, very basic. Um, when I bring an assistant or two assistants, I'll bring a soft box, fire this on the light stand, or have them hold a, uh, a monopod or something, so. The other important uh, gear, equipment, that you need when you're shooting film is a light meter. So I have this Iconic light meter. It is very helpful to measure light. People ask me all the time, what's that? Is that like some one of those men in black kind of thing where I forget my memory when you zap me with that? The light meter allows me to measure light. I kind of know most of the time, in most cases, what my exposure is gonna be when I'm shooting film. Um, but just to make sure, sometimes I'll whip out the light meter and just kind of measure light, make sure I get my settings right. But uh, very important, if you are shooting film, you need a light meter. So the last thing I'm gonna do for you today with this episode is basically put on my gear. Um, I typically wear like an all black shirt, all black pants from Lululemon. So this thing that I'm wearing, oh, a beautiful strap set that I got from Hold Fast. It's awesome, I love it. But basically I wanna turn around and show you, I have this bag. It has all my gear here, so basically I will put, say, my, um, my light meter here, my inserts, I'll put my film, and then from there, strap my 50 here, like so. You always wanna strap a safety strap. It could go loose when you're running around and you know moving and stuff, so you wanna make sure you have the safety and you always wanna just keep checking it. You don't wanna drop your camera. I've done that several times. My, my Fuji, I have my contacts, and then my Rolleiflex. I change lenses as I go. I'll switch with my assistant, and she will hold the Rolleiflex, and I will hold the X-T2. 
So that's all I have in my bag. That's it for this episode. If you have any comments, hit me up on the comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Hit me a like, hit subscribe, tell your friends, spread the word. See you next time.